Welcome to the Word for Today with Ray. The Word for Today with Ray consists of three to five minute devotions which are meant to discover the God of the Bible and His Son, Jesus Christ. Through practical application of God's Holy Word, those who listen are inspired in faith, encouraged in hope, and compelled toward God's love for them. If you have a Bible, follow along and learn through The Word for Today with Ray. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Word for Today with Ray. Have you ever wondered what we're to do when we're overwhelmed by our circumstances? Sometimes our circumstances and situations are just way too much for us. The Bible has the answers for those kind of things. In fact, in the very first chapter of the Bible, in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 1, God had a circumstance that he could easily handle. It says this, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. In other words, there was nothing here. And God was able to create something out of nothing. In fact, the Bible goes on to tell us that on the first day, He created light and darkness. In other words, the day and the night. On the second day, He created the firmament, or the heaven, and He separated it from the waters. On the third day, He created the waters and the dry land and the herb yielding fruit, and the grass and the trees. On the fourth day, he created the sun, the moon, and the stars. And on the fifth day, he created the sea creatures and the birds. On the sixth day, God created the beast and the cattle and the creeping things, and man himself. And on the seventh day, he rested from all his work. The Bible goes on to tell us in verse 31 of that chapter, And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. God created something out of nothing, a circumstance that was way too big for us. And yet, he said, it's very good. You know, King David of Israel understood this principle. And when things got too big for him, he made a practice that was one that can help us today. In Psalm chapter 8 and verse 3, David wrote this, When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained, David asked, What is man that you're mindful of him, and the son of man that you visit him? For you've made him a little lower than the angels and have crowned him with glory and honor. You have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beast of the field, the fowl of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passes through the pass of the sea. When David had a situation that was too great, he simply would go out and take a look at the universe, the stars, the moon, the sun, and consider that God was ruling and reigning over all those things. You see, God knew that we would need a Savior. He knew that we had a situation that was way beyond our own ability to handle, that we had sin in our lives, and that there was no way that we could ever know God without him coming in and intervening. So he sent his son Jesus to save us from our sins. Jesus came to the earth, lived as we do, and lived a sinless life. And he gave his life on the cross. And when he gave his life on the cross, he died for the sins of you and for me. And now if we simply receive his salvation plan, we will have a relationship with God that will allow us to no matter what we're going through to understand that God Almighty cares for us and he can handle anything. He's creator God. God has a plan and he's going to work it out. He worked it out when there was nothing here and created all and he made it very good. And he worked out the plan of salvation for you and me. My prayer for you is that you'll come to know this God of the universe. Next time you have a situation that's too big, too great for you, go out in the nighttime sky and take a look at those stars and see how he's running everything. And I'll guarantee your perspective will change and you'll understand that the God of the universe can handle whatever it is that you're going through today. My prayer for you is that he will bless you and keep you that he'll make his face to shine upon you, 
that he'll be gracious unto you, that he'll lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace in Jesus' name. Thank you for listening to the Word for Today with Ray. Our prayer is that God will bless you and keep you, make his face to shine upon you, be gracious unto you, and to give you peace as you continue to study his Word. We'll see you next time on The Word for Today with Ray.